everyone, um, welcome to Makeup Stained Fingers' first video. Hi, my name is Mandy, I'm 14 years old and I am the owner of this channel. Um, I'm going to be posting makeup and fashion um, tutorials and videos, maybe some nail tutorials, um, and then also just some fashion related vlogs. I do actually have one that is going to be up probably before this one, um, so you can go back and check, but it is going to be a vlog about the um, Beneath the Glitter book signing by Ellen Blair Fowler, which I was so excited to attend, and um, yeah, so today's tutorial is going to be on a glamorous, dark, smoky eye look, which I am wearing currently, if you can see. Ta-da! Yes, I'm sorry in advance for any lighting issues, any focus issues with my camera. I do not have the best or the most state-of-the-art equipment, but I am blessed to have what I have, and I'm going to be working with it and doing my best. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy my tutorials, my videos. Feel free to get in touch with me um, any way down in the bottom bar. I've got a blog, I've got um, on Twitter, I've got email. Feel free to contact me in any way with any of those. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you for watching in advance. And if you would like to see more videos like this, um, leave a comment and subscribe and all that will be greatly appreciated. So without further ado, to the tutorial. Okay, so the first step you're going to want to do, naturally, is prime your eyelids. And I'm using um, Urban Decay's Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I'm using just the normal stuff. I think they make a color for, like, lighter skin or something. Um, but I'm just going to take some of this, squeeze it out, and apply it to my lid. Like so, all the way up to your brow bone. And this is especially important if you have... Um, if you have plucked eyebrows, I don't pluck my eyebrows, um, so I don't necessarily, um, I don't always put stuff to sculpt my brows, but you might if you do um, pluck them, because it can be a bit of a hassle sometimes, so um, just keep out for that. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pur dark purplish grayish color, and I'm using the Physician's Formula Smoky Shimmer Strips, and it looks like this. It has this adorable little rhinestone thing here, and you can see all of the colors lined up. Um, but any sort of dark purple in a smoky eye palette sort of thing will work just fine. Um, so I'm going to take the dark, like a dark purple, but not so dark you can't tell it's purple. So not, um, not this kind of purple right here, and not this darker purple, but this purple right in the middle. Um, and as you can see, I have used it quite a lot. And I'm going to take this color of purple mixed with some of the mauve-ish gray that's right next to it. Um, oh, it matches my fingernails. And I'm going to kind of mix those two together on my flat shader brush, and then I'm going to pack it on my eyelid like so. So you mix it together, and it is going to look more purple than gray, probably, um, like that. But um, that's fine, and then you can just pack it onto your eyelid. Go all the way across your eyelid. Don't bring it up to the brow bone, but you can just do it all across, and it doesn't have to be perfectly neat because we will um, even it out, as it were. Alright, so get all the way, and don't forget to get all the way into the inner corner as well. Let me just check that, alright? And sometimes you might have to go back over it and get, um, like, more toward the lashes. Alright, um, after you finish doing that with both eyes, I'm just doing one as pretty obvious, and I think I stated that beforehand, um, and you can do as dark as you want to. Um, I personally don't like to do it very dark, uh, she says with a lot of shimmer on this eyelid, but I don't like to do it very dark mostly. I'm just doing this more dramatic since this is a dramatic smoky eye, as it says up above brush pointer. Um, so this is a dramatic smoky eye, so you can go a little bit more dark and more dramatic, so I'm going to do that. Just kind of get it all... Ooh, focus camera. There you go, I'm going to get it all in there. There we go. Alright, the next thing that you're going to do is after you put that in, a lot of people recommend putting on um, eyeliner before you start doing stuff or right after, like that's the last thing you do. I personally like to do it after this step because I feel like it doesn't detract from this step but also if you mess up with the eyeliner it isn't so painfully obvious. So I'm going to do that um, because I have green eyes and my eyes look really nice with purple. There I'm going to step back. But you can also use um, black or brown eyeliner but I'm using purple eyeliner. This is Ulta's Automatic Eyeliner in Indigo. Focus. 
maybe, in focus. There we go. In indigo. And it just has a nice little, um, nice, um, very pointy tip, which is very nice for this. Normally I like to use liquid liners, but I do like the stick liner, so I'm just gonna apply that to my eye. And this is one of those things that you can do as much or as little as you want. It's really up to you what you do. All right, so after you're done with that, the next step is to take some lighter purples and some silver um, once again, oh and actually not once again, using a um, defining eye brush. This is once again by um, e.l.f. It's a very fluffy shader-ish, not shader brush, it's a very fluffy creasing sort of brush and it's angled which is really nice for getting in the inner corners of the eye as well but I use this as my creasing brush and so for this one you're going to want to get a little bit a little bit darker um, if you look at the palette I'm using this silverish, grayish simmer, you're going to want to get pretty dark since it is the crease and it is used for um, actually like defining the eye. So just kind of take your brush and rub it in a circular motion. Cross it, get it all in there. Ooh, I'm dropping it on my lap. Oopsies. Um, so you get it all up in there. Then tap it off and wrong eye. And just kind of do circular sweeping motions into your crease. Don't worry about blending it because we'll do that in a sec. All the way in. You can do it a couple times. For as much definition as you like. Alright, then take some of the lightest silver color you have, for me it would be this one right here, brush it across the crease brush like so. This powder is very loose, tap it off and then use that to kind of blend it down. However is your pleasure. Et voila! The next step, and this is optional, this is for those of you who like to define your brow bone, as I said before I don't. Sometimes I don't, but for this one, if you did, if you do want to define your brow bone, and then take the um, the light color that you use to blend out your crease color into your lid color, and pack it on the um, domed shader brush, like so, and then just kind of brush it all up along your brow bone, and that'll give you a nice, um, a nice little outline there. Why is that not focusing? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, you guys. And my camera doesn't have autofocus. And then you can also use your fingers to kind of um, blend it out if you so desire. All right. Um, then the final thing, and this is my personal favorite, well, final thing for the eyes, I should say, um, is I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I can show you, is to add the silver shimmer. And again, this is optional. It depends on how much of a glitzy um, eye you're going for, but um, I'm going to do some shimmer today. And what I'm going to be using is Max Big Bounce Shadow in the Cool Elite. And this is what the label looks like. Focus. There we go. The Cool Elite Big Bounce Shadow. Um, I believe this is out of, um, not out of stock, like, it's, what's the word? It's discontinued, there. It's discontinued, but um, you can get it at websites like all, um, allcosmeticswholesale.com. I'll link that below if you want me to, but um, yeah. So this is really cool. It's it's a liquid shadow and it comes in this adorable little pot and you screw off the lid. And I got this at um, a, a, what's the word, like a makeup, there's a word for it, but I don't know what it's called, like a makeup, on oh, like a disc, like a um, cosmetics center um, where they have like discontinued cosmetics and you can get them for cheaper. I don't know what those are called, but anyway. Sorry, I'm being seriously like zoomer like today, but anyway. Um, and then it's this really pretty shimmery silver color and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, this is actually an eyeliner brush, but I love it for this because it's flat tipped and you can get it, um, you, know, you can get it damp with the liquid shadow and it will still um, still do the color very nicely. Um, so I really like this. It's really nice, easy to clean. This is by e.l.f. once again. I love e.l.f.'s brushes if you guys can't tell. But um, yeah, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take... This is really tricky because it will spread a lot. So literally just take the tiniest bit. This much will do. Of any sort of shimmery, silvery... Um, like liquid shadow, like the liquid color tattoos from Maybelline, I believe. Um, anything like that, really not a lot. Just the smallest amount you can do. And then take it and literally 
brush it ever so lightly across your lid like that and then once it's on there you're going to want to use your finger and lightly brush it across to blend it out like that which will give you a lot of shimmer and you can do that multiple times as many times as you need to maybe on different parts of the eye or something um, whatever strikes your fancy and this is another one of those things where you can kind of layer it on however you want to um, however nice you think it'll look and then also I'm going to take the silver and I'm going to put just a tiny tiny bit of it in the inner corner of my eye like that and blend that out as well alright and there you go um, another th optional step you can take one that I'm actually oops Drop my, drop my makeup brush. Uh oh. Anyway, another step that you can take is you can curl your lashes and apply mascara, um, which I'm going to do. Now, I'm not going to curl my lashes, but you can apply mascara. I'm using Physicians Formula Glam Green Eyes Custom Eye Enhancing Mascara Duo. Doesn't that sound fancy? But um, it just looks like this, and I'm just going to use the black um, one. Oh, it's flaking off. I need to get a new tube of this. But another t a tip I learned um, about mascara, I can't believe I didn't know this before, but as you're doing your eyes, you should wiggle the brush back and forth on your way up like this. Like that, to get every single lash. I'm going to show you. Alright, there you go. And that is it for the um, glamorous dark smoky eye look. If you want to do mascara on your lower lashes you can as well. I don't. Um, if you have another request for um, makeup tutorial type things, please leave me a comment and let me know. And yeah. Alright, well I hope you guys enjoyed the first of many tutorials on this channel. Um, I'm going to try to post tutorials as often as I can. I am, you know, in school obviously. I'm only 14. Um, so my schedule probably will be a bit erratic with as far as posting videos goes, but I will do my best to get them up as soon as possible. If you guys are interested in seeing the music, more musically inclined side of me, you can go check out my um, other channel in the bottom bar called um, Eversong, which is my cover channel. I sing covers of songs, and eventually I'll maybe be brave enough to post some of my own original songs. Um, so feel free to check that out if you are so inclined. Also, if you'd like to see the more random, nerdy, um, video game playing, Star Wars, book loving, um, nerdy side of me, go check out my third YouTube channel, which is my vlogging channel. Um, down at the bottom it's called With Camera and Tripod, which is a play off of my fanfiction account with paper and pen. If you guys follow me there, you might know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, so feel free to check me at any of those places. My blog, my Twitter, and my email are always open to you guys. Feel free to stop by and leave me a comment. Um, subscriptions are, of course, always welcome, but don't feel like you have to. Um, and all in all, thanks for stopping by, and I really appreciate you watching this, and I will see you guys later. Bye!